Hey guys, John Monk from Go419 here, the Baker's Cafe in Finley, and it's a very busy time for these guys because it's very. Valentine's Day weekend. I'm joined by Bailey, who's sort of the in-house cookie artist, I guess you could say. Is that your official title yet? I guess that would be me. <laughs> so she's been busy. She worked late last night. She's in early this morning decorating uh, Valentine's cookies. So I guess mm -hmm. my first question, Bailey, is what sort of uh, skills do you need to be a good cookie artist, uh, patient? Uh, patience. Yeah. A lot of patience <laughs> and practice. It's a lot of practice. And a steady hand. Steady hand. <laughs> steady hand. Do you need to know a lot about, uh, you know, sort of sugar baking and stuff like that too, or is that sort of um, baker stuff? I, I guess it goes both ways. I I like to bake, okay. so I do all my own cookies, and then um, the frosting is pretty simple. I follow a basic recipe, and then you tweak it as you get to know how you like certain things. Mm -hmm. We all like to decorate a little yeah. differently. Well, so, as the artist, what? Do you think goes into a, a well done decorated sugar cookie? You gotta love it. You gotta love it. I love what I do, and it shows. All right. So or at least I think. So what, 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 what are we doing here in front of us? Well, this is our latte for our Valentine set. So okay. I'm just gonna outline this as like the like the little to keep you from burning your hand, whatever that's called. <laughs> the little sleeve. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then we're gonna put a little writing on here. What? Oh, very nice stuff. So what is it? Is it just general sugar frosting? This is royal icing. Royal icing, mm -hmm. okay. So I do royal icing in um, a flood consistency and then a outlining consistency. Okay. So it's a little bit different. And then, yeah. Very nice. And th these are just some of the samples of uh, sort of the Valentine's Day cookies? Yep, we did four different samples for the um, for the Valentine's sets this year. So they come in two sets. I don't have the hearts for mm -hmm. those two. A okay. uh, cute little box with a bow on it. And, cool. and then this is a llama. Llama. A, a love llama. I like it. Yeah, because I <laughs> wooly love you because he's wooly. <laughs> And then that's obviously with that black, that was a lot more fine. Of yeah, the yep, plate. it's the smallest tip. Okay. Yep. So pr I have to imagine practice makes perfect. Yes, yes it does. I taught myself uh, most everything okay. that I know about royal icing cookies. I did work at a bakery before when I lived in Michigan. Um, they taught me a lot, okay. but most of the royal icing stuff I did teach myself. So it just takes a lot of practice. Yeah. And, patience and it's not always going to be perfect mm -hmm. and I mean it's not practice makes perfect well, with everything that, if, if someone's worried about starting up and they don't want it to look ugly well I mean my folks? stuff wasn't perfect when I first started and you just got to have a good support system yeah. and eventually you get into a little niche of what you like to do and eventually it just starts to kind of flow and once you get into your own little routine it all just comes out it okay. just comes out perfect. And, and ultimately, it's going to be eaten anyway, so it, yeah. it, even if it looks great or needs some work, it's, it, it needs to taste good. Too. Yeah, my husband likes to be my taste tester. There you go. Oh, that's, that's and the job. kids. My <laughs> husband and the kids like to be the taste tester as much as possible. All right, outside of, outside of Valentine's Day, what's your guys' normal uh, you know, d uh, need, demand for your guys' cookies here? Uh, we're pretty popular. Uh, sugar cookies are always good, no mm -hmm. matter what. So. I like to, we like to keep them available. We, everybody does mostly orders because yeah. I have such a limited schedule, yeah. but it's, we're pretty busy. We on keep an, pretty on, busy. On an average week, how many cookies do you decorate? Um, at least two to three dozen. Okay. I only work two days a week okay. right now because I'm a stay at home yeah. mom as well. Okay. But at least two to three dozen and Rachel does some too, but right. we keep ourselves very busy. All right. Keep ourselves very busy. Last night was, I did 90 cookies in a couple hours. Wow. So. Well, well done. Yes. All right, well, folks, well, if you want to check out their Valentine's Day cookies here at the Baker's Cafe, they will have some on hand tomorrow for Valentine's Day proper, or if you just, you're in town and you know, want a good sugar cookie, a coffee, and maybe some other pastries, check out the Baker's Cafe here in Finley. For Go419, I'm John Muck.